And welcome back. Our guest tonight has represented 60 first round draft picks in the NFL, eight number one overall picks. He's represented all stars in Major League Baseball. The NBA received 13 Man of the Year awards, six keys to cities, four presidential commendations. He's widely regarded as one of the greatest sports agents of all time. Lee Steinberg, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I know you earlier tonight were over in Culver City at the uh, Scholar Athletes Award Banquet for the National Football Foundation. Thank you for making your way here. I, I know there's a lot of kids over there that uh, received some awards. I have been reading your book, uh, The Agent. This is it right here. Um, fascinating read. I got to ask you, there's so much I want to talk to you about. But before we get into all the stuff about your career as an agent, I got to ask you about your childhood. Because some of the stories, I mean, my goodness, you were hanging out as a kid with George Burns sitting on Marilyn Monroe's lap. You got an autographed guitar from Elvis. <laughs> I mean, Lee, tell us about this childhood. How, how did you have access to all these people? Well, my grandfather uh, was manager of Hillcrest Country Club, and L.A. Country Club wouldn't allow uh, Asians, blacks, Mexicans, Jews, or Catholics, or actors. So they formed Hillcrest, and he had uh, lunch every day with and played gin rummy with Groucho Marx, Danny Kay, George Burns, Jack Benny, Georgie Jessel. And so George Burns took me to my first uh, football game. And we have a picture of me on Marilyn Monroe's lap. I, I was too young to really <laughs> know what to do about that. But, uh, and and I, do, I do have an Elvis Presley autographed guitar. So, but my dad was in education. He had two core values one was to treasure relationships, mm -hmm. especially family, and the second was to try to make a difference in the world in a meaningful way. So from a year at UCLA, I went up to Berkeley, and I was student body president when Ronald Reagan was governor. So we used to duke it out. And, and here's the thing about the, this whole business that you are in as an agent. Um, you represented, the book actually starts with you uh, getting ready to present Warren Moon into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and you've represented Troy Aikman, over 150 athletes. But, it, but it's fascinating. It actually started with you just helping out one of your college classmates, right? So I was uh, a dorm counselor going to law school at UC Berkeley. They moved the freshman football team into the dorm. One of the students was Steve Bartkowski, who in 1975 became the very first player picked in the first round of the NFL draft. And we got the largest rookie contract in NFL history. And there really wasn't sports law then, mostly fathers represented their kids or they did it themselves. And uh, um, that got it started. And then we had the concept of role modeling that we asked the athletes to retrace their roots. Mm -hmm. High school scholarship funds, collegiate, like Troy Aikman and Eric Karros did at UCLA. And then at the pro level, programs like Warg Dunn's Homes for the Holidays, where he's Fantastic program. 131st single mom into the first home she'll ever own by making a down payment and to have Home Depot outfit it. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I know there are many honors. We, we talked about it at the beginning of this segment, but I'd imagine the biggest honor is having somebody make a film that is inspired <laughs> by your life. I know you were a consultant on Jerry Maguire. How accurate was the portrayal of, of your life and, and the business that you do? So Cameron Crowe called me in 93, he was the director screenwriter, and mm -hmm. asked if he could follow me around to do a film. And he went to the NFL League meetings to the draft in 93. He went to uh, Pro Scouting Day here at SC, he went to a number of different games, and, and I told him stories, lots and lots of stories. And then he went off and wrote the script, and I had to make sure the willing suspension of disbelief keeping you in a movie wasn't broken. And then they took all my awards and uh, Tom Cruise's head went on my shoulders. <laughs> and uh, I took Cuba Gooding Jr. down with me to the Super Bowl in Phoenix, made him pretend he was a wide receiver, had to put him in role. And um, I actually had to show Jerry O'Connell, the quarterback, how to throw a spiral because he had gone to NYU. Uh, Leah, you've gone to the mountaintop, you've experienced so many things, quarterbacks that have won Super Bowls, but you've had your share of valleys. You know, in the book, you address uh, losing your agency, you lost your marriage, you had struggles with alcohol. Uh, tell us about that. Were, were those related at all? No, the, the, I love what I do. Instead of work, it's my life's work, mm -hmm. and I have a passion towards it. Uh, 
I lost my father in, in 2004, long bout with cancer. Um, I had a couple boys who had, had vision problems. I had, um, we lost our family house to flooding in El Nino and then had to knock it to the ground. And then I, my marriage broke up. And I sort of spiraled down with alcohol in mm -hmm. 2007, 8, 9. March of 2010 said, it had a moment of clarity and said, this, this is not why, why I'm on this earth. Mm -hmm. I'm on this earth to, to help athletes stimulate the best and, and to make a positive difference in the world. So I went into sober living, worked a 12-step program with a unique fellowship, and uh, in about a week, I'll be four years continuously sober. You know, uh, I'm one of your 3,088 <laughs> followers on Facebook, and, and, and I'm so inspired by your messages of, of staying, as you say, on the, on the sunny side of the street. Um, I, 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 want, I know you're relaunching your agency. What, what's your vision this time around? So we're, we're going to represent athletes in football, baseball, basketball, and the rest. Our business has morphed into marketing, sports theme, uh, uh, and content, which is sports theme, motion pictures, mm -hmm. television, video games, any app that can uh, fit the multiple platforms of content supply. I'm still crusading on the concussion issue, uh, trying to, to raise awareness and, and, and uh, change that. And then I have a Sporting Green Alliance, and I'm, I've wrote the book, and, and so it'll be a combination of all those things. What is it, and we, we've heard you address it, I mean, you've done so much. I know a big part of your approach when working with athletes is to encourage them in their charitable uh, affairs. You've always been so philanthropic. Where does that come from, Lee? It really comes from a dad who uh, was head of human relations uh, commission here in Los Angeles, uh, who's a principal. He was actually principal of Lacan right behind you, but of Fairfax. Uh, so that was, I was hardwired to do that. At the end of life, I think all you have is the quality of the relationships you had and whether you did some good in the world. So um, he used to look at me, Darren, and he would say, when you look for someone to make a change or fix something that's not mm -hmm. right, and you keep expecting they or them to do it, he'd look at me and say, the they is you, son. Exactly. I they. love that part of the book. <laughs> and Lee, you're an L.A. guy. That's one of the things that's so fascinating about the book. Uh, you went to Hamilton High and, and grew up all around Los Angeles. And so the stories are very local for uh, people in L.A. to read. It's, it's called The Agent. And it's a fascinating read. I'm enjoying it. Don't forget, uh, uh, you can get it online or at your local bookstores. Kindle hard covers of, are available. Follow Lee on Twitter, at Lee Steinberg, or on Facebook. Also follow uh, Steinberg Sports and check out SteinbergSports.net. Lee, thank you so much. It's oh, it's been my pleasure. I enjoyed it. Love the book.